Now for the greatest problem for parents of small children. A Friday night studio investigation aired here last night presented expert testimony regarding the dangers inherent in plastic bottles. Many parents have thrown their bottles away. Chaim Rivlin will continue to follow this development. Last night's story has caused a wave of responses from parents whose children use these bottles. It's very frightening. I'm going to throw all the bottles away and check with the pharmacy to see exactly which bottles contain the chemical substance. It's very annoying to see the one thing we're most concerned about is completely neglected. In the report, we presented views of experts from Israel and abroad who claim the use of baby bottles and other products such as pacifiers and bathtub toys manufactured from polycarbonate should be restricted. The experts based their views on research conducted on animals. This research found a connection between the leakage of certain chemicals from the plastic products to a series of hormonal manifestations observed in recent years, such as decline in the age of puberty, decline in fertility, and an increase in certain types of cancer. Baby bottles leak very significant amounts, small but significant, at least for animals. Even in absolutely new polycarbonate, there is some bisphenol A leaching. But in old baby bottles and old polycarbonate products, the rate of leaching gets higher and higher and higher the more the product is used. So they become more and more dangerous because they expose the baby to higher and higher levels of what we now know to be a, a chemical that babies should not be exposed to. At the very least, I can conclude that bottles should be disposed of once they begin to get old or have undergone many sterilization cycles. Professor Mimouni heads the Ministry of Health's committee that will shortly publish a similar recommendation for the maternity wards at all hospitals in Israel. Several years ago, the ministry recommended that all parents should avoid the use of overused worn-out bottles, but it didn't emphasize this recommendation. It now says that an official standard must be created and it's likely that the use of polycarbonate will be prohibited. I imagine that in a relatively short period the use of these substances will cease or at least be severely curtailed. This morning I took all the bathtub ducks from the bath and threw them away. It looks like we'll all be changing the bottles we use as soon as possible. We should point out that not all baby bottles sold in Israel are made of polycarbonate containing bisphenol A. With regard to pacifiers, all products containing the dangerous chemical are illegal in Europe. Where a parent should note that products originating in the EU and marketed in Israel do not contain PVC.